So hello everyone. Uh, today we will be discussing the CSI NET 2022 question, which is of the subject the partial differential equation. So let's start with the question. Okay, so we are given with the Cauchy problem, which is del u by del y minus x del u by del x plus u minus one equals to zero, and we are given with the Cauchy conditions that is u x comma zero equals to sine x, and we have to find the value of u at zero comma one. So as we know, the given partial differential equation is Cauchy partial differential equation. So the equation is del u by del y minus x del u by del x plus u minus 1 equals to 0. So rearranging it in the form of quasi partial differential equation. So we will get that minus x del u by del x plus del u by del y equals to 1 minus u. So as we know to solve that to find the general integral of the partial quasi partial differential equation we use Lagrange's method. So here we will use first the Lagrange's method. So using Lagrange's method Lagrange's method so for that the auxiliary equation is dx by minus x equals to dy by 1 equals to du by 1 minus u. So, from the first two fractions taking first and second fraction fractions, we will be getting ln x equals to minus y plus c1 that implies c1 equals to ln x plus y and similarly taking first and third fraction first first and third fraction will be getting ln 1 minus u ln x equals to ln 1 minus u plus c2. Okay, so in that case c2 will be equals to ln 1 minus u over x. Okay, so the general integral, we write the general integral in the form of phi of c1 equals to c2 or phi of c1 comma c2 equals to 0. So, I will be using the first one that is phi of c1 equals to c2. So, phi of c1 is equals to c2 is ln 1 minus u by x. Okay. So we have the we had the we have the general integral of the quasi partial differential equation, and now we'll use the Cauchy conditions. So the Cauchy conditions was Cauchy conditions that is u x comma zero equals to sin x. Okay, so putting in the above equation, we'll be getting phi ln x equals to ln 1 minus sin x by x using <coughs> ln x equals to t implies x equals to e raised to the power t. So, my equation will be converting into phi of t equals to ln 1 minus sine e raised to the power t over e raised to the power t. Okay, so Yeah. 
So I'll be having phi of ln x plus y equals to ln 1 minus sine e raised to the power ln x plus y over e raised to the power ln x plus y and that is equals to ln 1 minus u over x okay so we had ln 1 minus sine x e raised to the power y upon x e raised to the power y equals to ln 1 minus u over x okay so by calculating it sine x e raised to the power y over e raised to the power y into x equals to 1 minus u over x so by cancelling it we'll be getting 1 minus sine x e raised to the power y over e raised to the power y equals to 1 minus u. So, we will be finding out the u and that will be equals to u 1 minus e raised to the power minus y into 1 minus sine x e raised to the power y. Okay, so we have the u now. Okay, and we have to find the value of u at 0 comma 1. So, the value at 0 comma 1 will be equals to 1 minus e raised to the power minus 1, 1 minus 0. So, it will be equals to 1 minus e raised to the power minus 1 equals to 1 minus 1 over e. So, this is the A option. So, the option A will be correct answer. Thank you. 